All right, friends, we are going to start this video off with a bang today because I walked in real quick to go to the restroom first and I spotted this on the table, a fairy light. I'm curious to see what the price is on it. I do collect fairy lights only, $6. That is really awesome. Just gonna make sure there's no chips or anything on it. So there's that. Isn't that a pretty, pretty color? Let me see if I can move it over here where you can see it a little bit better. Yeah, only $6. So I'm definitely going to bring that home to add to my fairy light collection. I actually just shared a picture of my fairy lights on my Instagram. If you don't follow me there, it is Ohio Vintage Home. I love the glow that they give off in decor so Okay. So I just wanted to grab that real quickly and now we're going to head over here and get started. It looks like they have moved everything around a good bit here. Looks very, very different. That is exciting. I'm wondering if they're probably getting ready for the fall and Christmas season coming up. $10 on those. They do look like they have an older sticker on them though. There's a pair of them here. Looks like they have an iron here. That one is $5. I like to actually use these as bookends. If you set them up like this and stack your books up as bookends. So that is kind of cool there. Chair. I'm spotting a blue jar here. Let's see what the price is on that guy. $3.50. And it looks like there's another one there a little taller. I'm wondering what this bottle is right here. The little clasp on the top. And that one is 10. It's a different shape bottle. It's like another kind of milk bottle. $10. Probably can't see that. It doesn't want to focus on that glass. Like a sheep here. Some older looking dolls. And those are... There's lots of them in there. So there's several. Let's see. Mm, I think it says the price on there is $20. This is really interesting looking. It's got a different kind of shape on it. Not really my style, but very interesting. It is tin. It looks like it might have a mark on the bottom. Maybe Italy. I'm not sure. But I thought I'd share that one with you guys. What else do we got down in here? This looks different. Have I looked at this box here before? I think it might have caught my eye before 20. I'm kind of setting things over here because it's focusing a little bit better for me. It has a mirror and storage at the bottom. Let's keep on moving here. Looks like they have a quilt. This is where I got my big orange quilt and I'm just waiting to finish the bedroom to put that out. Well, it looks like even this chest, vintage chest, is 85 Down here is for sale. And we have this big crock. Now it does have, in the back right here, it does have a good size crack. You get lots of these little primitive sheep. $20. Now this piece here is really awesome. I wonder if that is Roseville or does it say anywhere? Oh, okay. Now I'm going to try to do this in the mirror. $65 and it does have a two on it right there. I don't know if you guys can see that two right there. we got down here $35 for the set cute little picture right there 
some glassware in this case. Oh, oh, be careful, little fairy light. Hold on. This. Oh, now I'm just going to sit it down here so we can look at it. It has a little house, a well. Now, are those chickens? I think that they are. And then look at this little barn and the hay. Let's go ahead and turn that around and see if they have a price on it. $35 for that. High for a thrift store, but probably well, well worth it. I know these types, what is this word exactly? What kind of work is that? I can't think of what it is, but I know that these sell really, really well on eBay. I don't resell, I just buy things from my home. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in my cart and I'll kind of decide at the end. This down here looks really, really pretty. Let's see what it might say on the bottom. It's white and blue. It does say Waterloo Potteries Trademark England. And it is $20 very cottage if you have like a cottage style i could really see that in cottage decor and that is for sure oak fern stand that is 65 dollars now i am right now up in the front of the store and that is where they keep what they call their specialty items or their vintage items and they can get a little pricey but they always have an awesome selection in this store. I always can find something when I come here, vintage. And of course, that's what I love here. This glass is $10. I don't know if you can see it very well in the light. And then here in a second, we'll kind of move back to where they have a lot of their regular priced items. What is this right here? Is this newer maybe? I'm gonna go ahead and carefully sit that right there grab this out yeah it feels lighter tkc on the bottom 15 dollars and this cool set of like palm tree candlesticks here very nice if you like your beach theme anything else we have down here that's sweet that little girl and boy right there set of figurines I'll slowly move you up here it looks like they have a lot of silver pieces up here I have a set of dishes down there in green this is nice for 4th of July decor United States of America it's got a beautiful eagle on there that is only $2.50. I always look at these and am intrigued by them, but I never pick one up. Looks like we have a juicer down here. And whoop, roll that around. $5.50 for that juicer. We got another really beautiful display right here. And it looks like they are kind of starting to get fall out. Here's a little fall greeting sign. This is a really beautiful cabinet, by the way. Baker's cupboard, $400 on that tag right there. And boy, is that beautiful. Down here to the bottom. And look on the bottom of everything. There's a rooster. That's interesting. Is that like painted on a piece of terracotta? Four dollars. Couple other crocs back there. I'm gonna stand this guy back up. There we go. And then look at this big bowl we have here. I have one though, very similar to this one. So I think I'll leave that. I'm gonna go ahead and whoop cute old high chair right there go ahead and roll around here that is vintage high chair $95 
big terrine. Now I wonder if this is actually ironstone or if it's not. And then we have a big cutting board back here. $14 on that cutting board. Let's see. That feels light, but let's go ahead and carefully... Whoop! What's in there? Is there something in there? Okay, no. That scared me for a minute. I can't tell. Well, it says something made in Japan on the bottom. P-A-T. P-A-T something. Made in Japan sticker. Hm. It sounds like something is maybe broken it somewhere 15 oh I see I see okay $15 I think though this might be something cute for outside like on a porch display with like a flower sitting on here or something like that let me see if I can check the price over here it says it is 50 so that's a little more than I want to pay for something that I probably would just use on the porch. What about this vase down here in this red? What is that? Again, not really my style. $4.50. Yeah. It's got a pretty little top. Go ahead and carefully put that back down there. I'm going to go ahead and go down this aisle because it is one right now that is empty. <laughs> we make it a little bit easier to look at everything. They have this set of teddy bear canisters. And I'm just gonna go ahead and look down this side first and then we'll kind of turn around and look down the other side. $15 and it does say Japan there on the bottom. Look, I can actually read something on the bottom. <laughs> that looks like Japan. Okay. Do you see anything else here? Always, always looking for Santa mugs. Is there something that you guys are always, always looking for when you're out thrifting? Let me know down in the comments. For me, it's always Santa mugs and always Jadeite. Now look at these kitties right here. 50 cents. Oop. 50 cents. Now, I wonder if their tails look the same on the back or if one's kind of in the shape of S. Nope, they both look the same. I thought maybe one would be S and one would be shaped like a P. I'm not seeing very much over here on this side either. Let's see what's underneath here. So I think we're going to go ahead and move on to the next aisle. Over here is where they used to have all of their artwork but they definitely look like they have changed that this is the save and serve thrift shop in millersburg ohio if i have not mentioned that yet those two little boys fishing there that picture is three so it looks like they have changed and then over here it kind of used to be where all of their baskets were but it looks like they still have a few here Looks like they put up kind of these tall standing racks right here, maybe for more storage. This basket here is kind of a nice size for a little gathering basket. And it is $2. Nice little size for eggs. I do still have my other baskets though, which I love. I have like a big fear of that in a thrift store. Like I'm gonna move something and it's gonna fall over and I'm gonna break it. Whole orange thermos here for $1.50. This thermos there on top. Has a few scratches on it. They have a cart full right here and I thought I would go ahead and take a peek well, nobody was around to see if there was anything in here. Several candles. Looks like some old Coke bottles in there. Mm. 
don't know if I see much. There's some plates in here. Whoop. Some plates. Container. Eh, don't see a whole lot in there. Hello. Find anything you wanted in there? Oh, I don't want to break anything, so I'll just keep waiting. <laughs> wow, do they have some silver trays down here. 75 cents. Ooh, that gave off a glare. But this one, it's got a lot of detail on it. And that one's heavy. The end work on that. Like the scroll work on the end. Ooh, it even has little feet. That one is eight. They have several trays here. Getting my attention grabbed by this. Is that glass or is that plastic? Let me try to very carefully pull this out of here. Okay. That is a pretty blue and a pretty flower. It is. 250. I don't necessarily see anything on the bottom. This is nice. Is this a tablecloth, maybe? Let's see. Oop, oop, oop. I think you should wear it to your first day of school. What does that say? $40 as is. Hmm. I'm going to try to open this up and see if I can take a look at it. Well, I opened it up and looked at it, and it is more of a rectangle shape, so I'm going to leave it. If it was round, I would have thought of purchasing it because it would have went on my kitchen table because the table in there is round, but it is longer, more like a rectangle, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that. That is an interesting little clock. Linden Black forest it is ten dollars I wonder if it was meant to have you know glass here in the front and the glass is missing or no 1960 1964 for loyal service bill I just realized that I left my bracelet on with my little chicken and I usually don't wear this when I'm thrifting because I'm sure it makes an annoying noise the entire time I'm shopping and probably annoying to see it dangling there. So I do apologize in this video that I forgot to take it off if it has annoyed you half of the video. I'm really sorry. I just now noticed I had it on. I'm actually in the Amish country today with my family. We're getting ready to go play putt-putt golf <laughs> and have dinner and I just didn't really think about it being on there. Look at these. Parker Brothers French card game. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Let's see if they have any tins. Fifty cents. Stripe is kind of cute for Christmas time. Macadamia nut chocolates. Hello friends and welcome to the haul part of this video. Now I have two items to share with you today that I purchased from this thrift with me that you saw and then I have some other items that I purchased from a thrift store that I did not record that I want to share with you. So the first two things I'm going to share with you are what I got today thrifting and you will have seen this in the video. I did score another fairy light. Now I'm not sure with this fairy light if like this discoloration right here is supposed to be here or if it is kind of a defect, but I don't care either way. I absolutely love to collect these, and I did get this one for $6, and I'm really excited to add that to my collection. I actually have five, and now that makes six. The next item that I got was this piece right here. I did debate it because it was $35 which is so high for a thrift store, but I do just love it. It is perfect for my vibe here, for my vintage decor, for my chickens and my roosters and everything. So it was just perfect, and I was really happy to get this. I don't know if I'll do anything with the frame or not, 
but um, I just love it. I have to figure out where I'm going to put it in my home, but it is just perfect for me. So ultimately I decided to go ahead and pay the 35 and to go ahead and bring that one home. Now the other stuff that I got was at a different thrift store that I did not record. I was looking for a few pieces to kind of do a vignette, a centerpiece on my coffee table, and I did not want to spend a lot of money on getting some fall things, so I found some great things at the thrift store. The first package that I have here was just a dollar, and this is kind of filled with different colored leaves, and it's got some really pretty um, little picks back here. This is why I got it. I really did like all of the colors of these picks, and so I did grab up this kind of variety bag for a dollar. And to go along with that one, I also got this bag right here, and it was $2. And what I really liked about this one was the neutral kind of country primitive color on this. So I can definitely find a spot for this to finish up the living room. And these were $2 right there. I'm not sure if you can see that all the way, but they were only $2. And I did get one, two, three, four, five, six of them in that bag. And then, this is the same thrift store I was at when I found the little squirrel decorations that are like my favorite find so far this year for fall. I actually spotted these guys here and they were 50 cents. And these are like the old cutouts. Let me go ahead and pull a couple of them out of here. I'm gonna hang them up, I think, with like some blue painter's tape or maybe even make a garland out of them because there are so many of them in here. You guys let me know what you think would be cuter to kind of just hang them up like this with the painter's tape or to make a little garland out of them. There's one of the leaves there. And these were in really great shape. A lot of times they are ripped or kind of um, bent or something wrong with them. There's another one here that kind of looks like that. There we go. That one has some really pretty colors in there, like some oranges and some greens and some yellows. So super cool. And I was able to get all of those for 50 cents. And this guy right here I shared on Instagram. If you do not follow me there, it is Ohio Vintage Home. I would love to have you there. I put this on my story. I was so excited to find it. It was $1.50. I do collect these pie plates. You will have noticed them on my wall in my dining room. And this one is one I have never seen before. Pineapple upside down cake. It does have a little crack right there on the top but I do not care because I'm probably not going to use these to bake in. I'm going to use them for decor on my wall. This was only $1.50 and it is from the Royal China Company in Sebring, Ohio which is kind of what brought me to collecting them. I do love the country look of them but I am from Ohio and of course I love that the company is in Ohio so I was really happy to find that one to add to the collection that I have I've never seen that one before so very cool thank you all so much for being here if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think about these leaves should I put them up as is or should I make a little garland out of them let me know down in the comments I would love to hear Hope you're all well and that you'll continue on with me by watching the video right now on your screen. I have started decorating for fall and I would love to have you there. Take care.